you know, you know, some people may say yes. In some regard, I could probably say yeah. But I also think it comes back to the locker room. It comes back to the brotherhood. It comes back to the to the to the love of one another that they have. And and I know it may sound like a cliche, but it's real. Why you say it's real? Because they're all still here. And and um, it has it has nothing to do with Tony offering the coach. It has everything to do with the, the love of one another in that room. And, and and I know we talk about that a lot, the brotherhood here. But it's real, and that's a, that's a testament to it. Because they all had opportunities to go do other things and, and other facets, but they all decided to stay. Um, and, and and stay together as a unit and stay bonded. So um, it's a testament to the type of kids that are in that room and the type of kids we have in the locker room. Jesus also the fact that last year, by the end, we needed everybody. And that shows. That's right. And they, and they see that. I don't have to say it. They know that everyone's going to have an opportunity. Now, the, the, the key component is, is your opportunity to come exactly when you want it. But if you just stay the course, and I think that's the main thing in life, if you just stay the course, you'll get what's coming your way. And, it's, and, and the problem is everybody wants things that right now. They want instantaneous success. They want instantaneous whatever it is. And I think it's just a testament to say, just keep, just keep grinding and keep playing and keep doing your job to the fullest and being the best version of yourself every day. And when your time comes, you'll be ready to go. He's fine. Trey's fine. We're not talking about last year. We'll, Trey's fine. How's he look so far this year? Great. Great. First three days been good. Oh, absolutely, but that's not just with him. That's everybody as far as pitch counts, if you will, like they do in baseball. It's just pitch counts in practice. One that saves save legs and, and body and wear and turn the body, but also gets other guys reps. So everyone's going to get theirs. and. You know, when you have enough guys that, that uh, the depth we're talking about and everyone needs reps, that's going to automatically take care of the pitch count, if you will. And so, but yeah, we're very cognizant of that and how, how much how much wear and tear we're taking on the body throughout camp. Do you owe each of these guys an opportunity? Or how do you look Do I them? owe? Yeah. This one, yeah. <clears throat> that's the question. No, I don't. I mean, like you, like you just pointed out, four of these guys played a lot. No, I don't think, I, you know, I, I get your question, and I, and I guess I'm pausing because I, I don't, I don't, I don't owe them anything. No, that's why you know, I think that uh, you get what you deserve. Yeah. You get what you earn. And they've earned, in my eyes, they've earned an opportunity to, to show themselves. They've earned an opportunity to get reps. It's not about owing anybody anything. They don't owe us. We don't owe them. It's all, it, you get what you earn, and you earn it every single day by how you, how you walk in this building, how you carry yourselves really outside the building as well. You earn it how you sit in meetings and how attentive you are in meetings, um, how intentional you are about every single rep because every single rep matters. Rather it be a walkthrough rep, rather it be a rep in, in the meeting room, rather it be a, a, a game speed rep, rather it be a mental rep. Every single rep matters and you earn those. And, and, and so that's where you get reps. You, you do well on rep one, chances are you'll get a second or third rep. If you don't, then chances are you won't. And that, but that's the life that we live in. When you're in a game and, and you've got Trey in there and you've got Maya in there and you've got Dallin and they're all healthy, Chip's there, Evan Pryor is back and stuff. What determines, I would think all these guys are putting in work. I mean, based on Yeah, a lot of it is just, a lot of it's feel, a lot of it's um, packaging as far as uh, packaging, a lot of it's game situation. And some guys may be more adept at pass pro versus others, depending upon what we're doing in the game. It may be some guys may be better. Some of we get caught in the situation you're in, and it's a temple. We can't get you out. So that's why you're trying to develop their whole skill set as complete players. But um, a lot of us just feel the game and, and, and how it's going and go from there. Well, if you hit the word packaging, in other words, do you, do you intentionally go look for ways to get them all Absolute, involved? Absolutely. 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 Exactly absolutely, you do. So, But that's not just running backs. That's receivers. You try to put guys in position to set them up for success. And, and, and put them in situations where where they're doing things that they're that they're good at and, and have had success doing to help the team. Is it 